Hi everyone and welcome to the introductory course for molecular dynamic simulations. In today's tutorial we will go over uh, solvation of proteins in non-standard solvents. I mean by non-standard solvents like organic solvents or anything other than water. Because as I noticed or also you should have noticed that when you solvate or try to solvate a protein using the available bioinformatic tools, when the solvent is other than water the process goes quite complicated which is the case in VMD and Chimera from my experience. So today I, I will try to teach you how to use PacMol, which is a free and very simple package that will, uh, I mean, enable you, will enable you to create initial configuration or initial structure for molecular dynamic simulations in which you can create the system you would like and you, you choose the solvent you would like in, in a very straightforward in, in, in a second, in, in a matter of seconds. So, and also it doesn't require any computational power other than your, your normal uh, laptop or your uh, desktop computer. So simply PACMOL, back structure, that's why they call it PACMOL, it packs the solvent molecules in a defined space you define. You could define a box, sphere, a shell or whatever, and then you create your structure and then you minimize it, then equilibrate it, and you go for molecular dynamic simulations. So how does it work? It just, I uh, mean, five, six lines of script very simple, you set different options. This is the basic options you, you need to, to build the structure and you run it in the command line and it will give you your solvated structure. So the first option is the tolerance. The tolerance is define the minimum distance between the two atoms in your structure. I mean, if you have two solvent molecules, the minimum distance will be two angstrom here. As I said here, it's set by default to two angstrom. This is the minimum distance that will not cause clashes and it was calculated by backmold developers based on water radius so water is the smallest uh, solvent so when you go for organic solvent or something bigger so two is good for you to work for most of the structures but you could increase it for uh, i mean based on, on your research question it could be five or whatever but remember that increasing the the, the tolerance distance will uh, increase the solvation uh, the, sorry, the computational power required for solvation because PACMO will go very slowly and you know also it should be optimized with the size of the box. So so we are done with the tolerance. If you keep it as two and there is no problem so don't change it. Okay so the second part is you define your input and output file and simply it's PDB. So file type PDB. This is also fixed option. You not you, you don't need to change it. And here you are naming your output. It's gonna be output.pdb, Mohammed.pdb, lipase.pdb, or whatever. Then the critical part is you define your uh, your box size. So as an example here, you, you define the structure name, the solvent.pdb, which is going to be ready in your working directory, and we will see later no, later on when we will try it. Uh, the second is the how many solvent molecules you would like to use to solvate your structure let's say it's a 20 thousandths and your box size in the three coordinates is minus x minus y and minus z and x and y and z and never ever forget to put in the structure we will know why we need this later so quite simple let me get some coffee okay sorry so now we are done with the solvent and uh, the second part is our protein or the solid. So here I have a protein which is called for ex.pdb. So you define the structure, you define, you set it as a center of mass, and you fix it in the center of the box during the solvation process. So at 0, 0, 0 coordinates means that the protein is centered in the box. Okay, so that's quite simple. So Let's go and apply it because it looks quite uh, complicated when you only talk. So let's try an example. It is here. I have urea and water. So let's try water first. It's quite simple. So PacMol will work with a with a script dot imp. So don't forget this. So a mixture of protein and here's the uh, comment you like to remember what you are doing so I say a mixture of protein in water okay 
so all atoms from different molecules will be separated at least let's keep it two this is just command so the change is here the file type is pdb my name is gonna be let's make it sorry protein water dot pdb and my structure is let's check what was what, what i called what i named my water pdb it is water dot pdb let's open it yeah it's just one water molecule so pacmol will will pack it i mean many copies of this solvent in in, in your box so just single molecule i call it water dot pdb so i will go to my script and I will call my solvent is place back mode node as water.pdb and whatever I will choose 8000 molecules and in a box size 75 angstrom in each direction and what you need to know here is the ratio between the number of molecules inside and, and the box size if you increased the number of molecules like whatever I mean 50,000 and in such a box and also when we have your protein in the box what would you expect would you expect backmold to give error or to crash or take forever to solve it because the number or is it sorry the box size is not enough to pack all of this so it's gonna be quite uh, an optimization matter so depending on your box size you have to optimize the solvent molecules that's gonna be enough to cover your proteins and also enough to have uh, at least 10 angstrom from the box size to the protein uh, structure then I have the structure is protein.pdb what I called here is lipase I have lipase here so I will go to my script and I will call it lipase.pdb and center of mass and it's fixed in, in the center of the box and I say and the structure Let's go over everything again. Tolerance is 2. My file type is PDB. Output is protein water PDB. And my solvent is water in 8000. And the box size and the structure, and it's okay. We will say save. And we'll go to the terminal. And sorry. And I will say just pack mold. Execute my, my script. Urea. IMB and now it's solvating and it is done and it took one second to solvate one second 1.28 seconds to to solvate you see it's quite simple and quite easy and it's water okay of course it will take a longer time if you are trying molecules I mean larger or bigger than water but we will try it now so let's check the structure here the output protein water the PDB so I will check it in VMD I'll need a molecule and I'll say yeah here is the protein in PDB okay sorry the protein in water yep it's not the I think you need to add more water molecules but just for the sake of time I don't want to make the video longer I choose 8000 but you can make it here 20,000 that will really make a nice box but you get the concept and you can try it by yourself okay so you may say okay I know that uh, I know how to solve it uh, protein and water so why why should I go for Pacman I said if the solvent is not water it's gonna be quite hard so let's try if I want to create uh, let me get to my presentation back it's here how to prepare an x molar of a solution urea solution for example okay so i need to prepare say uh, six molar urea solution and solve my protein in this solution so if we get back to the uh, i mean analytical chemistry or basic chemistry the molar concentration is the number of molecules per unit of volume so it's general for all the molecule I mean one mole one liter containing one mole of molecule A and also it's gonna be the same for molecular B so as I said assume we need to prepare six smaller urea solution 
we need to know the molar concentration of water and this is fixed okay from the density of water which is approximately this amount and the molar mass of water we know so we do some calculation and we get that the molar concentration of water is 55.5 so if you want to prepare six molar of urea just you need to know is the number of water molecules this is the only mass you need to do so here is I know that my desired molar concentration is six it could be eight or whatever six and uh, molar concentration of of water is 55.5 and the number of molecules you, of water you could set it will give you the number of urea molecules you, you could need so just ratio okay to get it so now we learned how to set the molar concentration of a solvent for a simulation and then let's execute it but you may say how can I pack water in urea and urea in the sandbox and this is very very simple okay so I brought here uh, urea.pdb also urea pdb a simple single molecule and we already have water and say we I will get to the mass sorry to the script the tolerance is the same I will not change it and the same and let's say protein in six molar urea okay And then uh, say I did my calculation and I said that I need uh, 10,000 water molecules and I did this calculation and it came up that my urea molecules, I say, sorry, I forgot to say that U it means the number of urea molecules, W means the number of water molecules. So it's kind of ratio, molar to molar, number to number, okay? So say I have here 10,000, I will do this mass and I will come up with say, not the exact number but say it it will be like 6000 so what you need is it could be this okay quite simple when you say a structure sorry and I'll say urea I already have it urea.pdb and I have here say whatever I make it 5 because I don't want to make back more waste a lot of time and in the same box size and dimension that's it okay I mean whatever you like here it could be methanol it could be toluene it could be any solvent you would like okay so I say save and I will tell pack mold where is my terminal sorry this is not my terminal yeah I'll say pack mold please solvate my protein in urea it will take quite longer than only in water because now we have two two structure but I don't think it will take too much it depends on the computational power yeah it took 11 seconds 0.56 you can see it's very quiet and here I do have uh, my structure protein in urea so I'll check it okay You see, the blue ones are urea, the, the red ones are water, and you can do some graphical representation and I say, show me my protein. Okay, then I will say my solvent, please show it me as quick surf. Why? Because I want to get sure that my protein is really immersed in the solvent so you see there is nothing so you can make it transparent here quick surf I mean surf representation really consumes the computer quite getting frozen sorry I have this shouldn't be because I should go to protein I'm no I should make my solvent transparent yeah it even I mean very big compared to what protein I need but as I said it's a matter of optimization and it takes I mean it's seconds you know so you can try it many times until you get the minimum number of solvent molecules that will cover your protein and be enough for the simulation and you should let me get this uh, change this representation to anything else or sorry yeah 
You should know that the distance from the protein to the box size should be at least 10 angstrom. And also you have to add your uh, periodic boundary condition parameters by yourself in the package you use because Backmon hasn't included uh, the PBC conditions in the solvation process. So as I said, minimum here should be 10 angstrom in each direction. So, so this you, we will talk about this later and how to set it. I, re, I think I already have a video on how to to set. I mean, you go to VMD and you choose min max of your protein and you, you subtract from the box size or whatever. I will talk about this later. Let me get some coffee. I'm getting tired. Very good. Okay, so now we have our structure ready. Also. You should check the uh, uh, PacMol output because PacMol will tell you something important. I forgot to show it to you. When it runs, we run it again. Yeah. Just wait for 11 seconds. What I'm trying to show you here is PacMol tells you that this is not the minimized structure of the solvent. So before you run a simulation, you cannot go and run this generated structure immediately. It says if you will use it for a molecular dynamic simulation, it's best to, to minimize the structure. Did it say it here? I don't find it here, but you got the point. You should minimize and equilibrate the solvent molecules because PacMol just put them in the space. Also, don't forget to cite the people who developed this very nice uh, package. So now you wonder how could I install it? So I will show it to you. You go to this website, PacMol Initial Configuration for MD, and you go and download it. You can get the latest version from here, whatever is the version you like, but it's best to use the latest version depending on your distribution. I mean your your operating system distribution, okay? And you download it and what you do is go to usage here. You download it and you go to the working directory that you downloaded your structure and you extract it here. Even if you are not very aware of command line or new to Linux uh, operating system, you just try this copy this command to extract it. Then you will change the directory to the PacMol folder, which is which is in, in, in the extracted working directory. It's it's a folder. But please, because I got some messages regarding this, when you copy this, write the exact name. Don't just pacmol.tar.gz, just pacmol. the name of your version, and then extract it, then change the directory to pacmol, then hit make, it will install. But this will not make PacMol run directory in the command line. I mean, it will not be like this. You hit tap. No. So what you need is you need to execute it. So just copy this this command and configure it, and it will make it will execute the script, and PacMol will work will work very good. So I hope you enjoyed the this video, and if you have any questions, just let me know and go and solvate your protein in whatever you want and don't forget to optimize your structure not to waste the computational power which is limited and thank you and have a nice weekend